winners of the Kick Your Way to the Grand Final campaign been here today? What sort of standard have they been? Yeah, it's really impressive actually. I know I'm not sure how much rugby they, they play, but um, you know, you can see from the start of the session to the end the improvement there. So um, hopefully they listened to a few tips I gave, I'm not sure how good they are, but uh, yeah, really good, really impressed. Around the other clubs, with Dan Parks and with some of the other great kickers, a few tips from the top of being keep your head down, follow through. Is it as simple as that? Um, yeah, I think, you know, it, it change, the pressure does, it, some big games of pressure can sort of change things and play tricks with your mind, but at the end of the day, it's just, kicking is quite simple and basic, so um, yeah, just keep your head down, follow through and uh, hope for the best usually. Where did you learn your routine and what is your routine? Um, I think for every kicker it's different, their routine, yeah, their routine is different, so um, I think you've just got to play about with it a bit and find what's comfortable to you, for you. And um, you know, I think I've found something that I'm quite happy with now, but um, you know, you're always trying to improve, so I might, might find something over the summer now that uh, I think can make me a better kicker. Did you model yourself on the old band here, Stephen Jones, or was there someone else who inspired you? No, I think um, I did a bit of work with Neil Jenkins, and he always said from the start, just to be, do whatever you're comfortable with, don't try and copy anybody else. So um, I think I've sort of found a technique now, and I just try and well, I'm not, I'm not really concentrate on what everybody else is doing, just see what works for me. How difficult is it to block out the crowd and block out the occasion and block out the pressure? Um, I think it's something you get you get better at the more experience you get. I think um, when I start, first started, I think I used to worry about what the crowd was saying that, but it's just part of parcel of it now. So um, you just got to sort of get on with it and try and blank everything out and just concentrate on what you can control, which is striking the ball properly. We've all heard the rumours of you know, Johnny Wilkinson getting up before he's gone to bed to turn to practice and Neil Jenkins putting in hours and hours. What's a Reese Priestland kicking week like? Um, I think the start of the week is um, where you do most of your work and then as you get close to the game then you just sort of try and keep it ticking over and um, just try and get a bit, bit of feel good and not, not try and overdo it and um, like I said just concentrate on the basics. Good place to kick here at uh, Parker Scarlet? Yeah you know it's a fantastic stadium here yeah. I think we're very lucky as a Scarlet to have such a fantastic facility not only the stadium but the training facilities as well but um, you know it, it, it can get quite windy down here in Slenesley but um, you know, it's a fantastic, fantastic place, and especially when there's a full house here, it's a great atmosphere to play in. And when our two winners come out to kick here to see who has, who has the right to, to join you in the grand final, if you get there, how are they going to feel? Um, I'm not too sure. I think uh, I think they'll they'll do well, and uh, hopefully they won't let me down.